Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Democracy 3. My name is Weasel, and today we're going to start a new... I want to say rain, but we're going to start a new game with the Electioneering DLC. Yes, Wheatley, the bird you hear in the background is, of course, Wheatley, and he's very excited. Uh, the game we're going to start is with the new Electioneering DLC, which will add some mechanics to the game that allow us to... Well, we're going to have to win our terms, obviously. We're going to start as the president of the United States won the election. Uh, our party name is going to be the Weasel Zone. And since we have this screechy bird over there making so, so much oops, so much noise, it's going to be the Wheatley Zone. It's where we're opposing the Wheatley Zone. All right, there you go. Uh, turtling four years and two term limits. I'm going gonna, gonna to set that. I don't think I can change that, which is good because... That is your limit in the US. Anyway, we're gonna start the United States. Election victory. Yes, welcome to your new job as president. The lives of 360,668,000 citizens are now in your hands. As you will imagine, there are a number of situations and concerns that you will need to deal with as soon as possible by keeping an eye on long-term improvements of your citizens' quality of life. All right, one thing I do have to mention before we actually get started with the game, and this is very, very, very important, this is a game. This is absolutely only a game. Please, please take that in mind before you go in the comments. This is not necessarily my opinion. I played Canada and turned it into a dictatorship. I'm just saying, please keep that in mind and maybe don't start any political discussions. That would be fantastic. Anyways, let's begin our term in office. Uh, oh, before we do that, we should have a quick look at what's going on. As you can see, crime is at an all-time high. Ah, oh, just, just lovely. Lovely. Um, the GDP, yeah, it's nah, meandering around. Unemployment is pretty high, I gotta say. We gotta work on the economy, and our healthcare is abysmal. Poverty, pretty high as well. All right, let's begin our term in office. As you can see, we have several situations. I'm, I'm gonna go over the screen real quick since, you know... Probably not everyone knows what's going on here. All right, over here we have political power. Ah, thank you. That's a cabinet which will give me political power. And political power will allow me to enact policies and such and do certain things. So the happier these people are with the situation, the more political capital I'm going to get. Uh, if I don't like him, I can fire them. But it's not very good for my, um, yeah, it's not very good for me. Anyway, here's the income that our country makes, uh, the U.S. Uh, the expenditure, we're spending more right now and have a deficit of $72 billion and a debt of three, uh, point one nine two trillion, I think. It's, it's a trillion, yeah, it's a trillion dollars. It's, it's quite a lot. It's, it's free, it, it's, uh, it's not nice. I don't, I don't like it. Anyway. We're going to deal with that eventually. We're going to have to invest more. That is my plan of action. We're going to make this. We're going to make it great. So, uh, pollution, that's eh, pretty high. That's that's an issue. It's going to cause asthma. Over here, skill shortage. We do not have enough skilled people to work the jobs that there are. Uh, we are currently quite uncompetitive, so I'm going to keep an eye on that. Um, and what personally really worries me is vigilante mobs. People that lost faith in the police force and are now just going out and killing people on their own. Internet crime pretty high as well. Alcohol abuse is at a maximum. And it, it, it costs quite costs us quite a bit. And antisocial behavior like loitering and graffiti and you, you name it and petty street crimes. The usual. Uh, we're, we're gonna have to deal with that. Okay, so first things first. And the American public is not going to like this. Oh yeah, also we have an obesity problem. That's a thing too. Yeah, yeah. They're not gonna like it. We're going to have to deal with the alcohol abuse. Currently, the alcohol law states that the minimum age is 21. All right, we can completely do strong restrictions, which will bring down the alcohol consumption. By the way, which reminds me, um, if we hover over something long enough, it will show us the effects that are in here. Another reason I don't have my silly face on the screen is because we need the whole screen. Anyway, police force has an uh, effect on that, and it has an effect on health. So, alcohol consumption. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's pretty high. Not not surprised. What does it affect? Um, poverty, unemployment. Yet yeah, people turn to alcohol. Can't blame them. <sighs> we're gonna we're gonna have to deal with this. This is okay. Alcohol abuse. <sighs> alcohol consumption has the biggest effect. Oh wait, where is it? Alcohol has the biggest effect. 
I'm not going to like this. I'm, I'm not going to like this. As you can see, I have 25 political power. I'm going to increase strong restrictions. I mean, no limits is not a good idea. But I'm going to increase strong restrictions temporarily. It's going to... They're not going to love it. They're not going to love it. And then we're going to invest into the economy and make them, well, run better. We're going to have to invest some money here because we're not competitive. Corporation tax productivity is pretty low. As you can see, these are all the causes that affect the productivity. So let's bring it down. Let's bring down, uh, bring up the productivity, my bad. For example, technology grants. Always a good idea. Maximum. Um, it's going to cost us a little bit, but I'm willing to put that in. We need that edge we need that edge, people. It's it's very important. Um, what else? Productivity. What brings it up? Wages. Alcohol consumption brings it down, obviously. Um, drug addiction. I want to enact a policy that deals with that. Narcotics. Okay. Narcotics are outlawed. The problem is, in, if we if we legalize all drugs, crime goes up. Parents don't like it. It's it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, tourism goes up and legal drug consumption goes up. We're going to legalize cannabis. Oh, we can't. We need more political capital, so we're not worrying about that too much. Um, but I'm going to look at uh, where can I enact new policies? Because I think we're going to need a few. I'm pretty sure we need a few. There you go. All right. So economy. We're going to put something into the economy. It's important to get that going. Clean energy subsidies. Sorry, not right now. Young entrepreneur scheme. That's a good idea. Uh, young people who are aiming to become businessmen in the future. We're going to implement that. Uh, maximum, we're going to put two billions in there. That's basically nothing. But it's going to help. We have no political capital left for this turn, which ends our turn. And let's hope I don't get killed. That would be fantastic. Patronize the electorate and return to government. All right, this is our quarterly report. Thank you very much. I, I got this, which gives us some information about what's going on in our town. And we're going to go through this real quick. The GDP keeps going down. Nothing else changed too much. Things take a while to take effect. The credit rating downgraded. Oh, that is lovely. The United States got a rating of BB. People are not happy about that. Absolutely not happy. Um, good news, the global economy is doing well. That is very helpful. I can really use that right now. Oh, ooh, I closed the window. Wait, where can I where can I open this window again? I know there is no that's that's the income window. Thank you so much, tutorial man. Ah, uh, is it here? No, that's that's more charts. That's polling. That's important too. We're not gonna worry too much about it. Not there it is, the quarterly report. Uh the government is not popular amongst the citizens. Can see that thanks to that alcohol regulation. Uh only 32 of them intend to vote for you in the next election. We're going to have to do some manifests and uh, promise them a whole lot of things. Probably. All right, we have 25 political capital. We need more. It's important. Um, economy, she's not happy. She's not happy. She would like to see... Um, she, she has sympath sympathies with her Titan motorists. So transport is also not very happy. Ah, we got to keep that in mind if we want to do anything here. But for now, schools. We're going to invest into schools. That's a long-term goal, but it's important. Skills shortage, look at that. You, you can't forget that. Here, all right. Education, state schools, technology, colleges, technology. We're going to go on to state schools, have a quick look. And yes, free education for all ensures high levels of literacy and can ben be beneficial to the economy. Especially those parts of the economy requiring a skilled workforce. The flip side of this is that the state education can be expensive for the government. So be it. Okay, that's maybe a little bit too much. Uh, student laptops, this is a little hard. Modern textbooks should be the minimum. I mean, come on. This is going to double our costs. I'm fully aware of that. And I'm going to apply these changes. Yes. And it costs me a lot of political capital. We're going more into deficit. But I will try to get that back from, let's say, I don't know, the tobacco tax. Can't do it. I need a lot of capital for that. Um, we have really... Wait, we, we set the alcohol to really high. Uh, we're going to increase the alcohol tax. Very important. Alcohol and tobacco tax soon, hopefully. I should have done that. Um, do we have an alcohol tax? Rick, where is it? That's the income tax. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to touch that. 31% um, is fine. We have a capital gains tax, which I could actually raise. Uh, Non-seller income such as stock market profits. 17%. Uh, that's going to increase our income a little bit. We're going to go from 17 to 30 percent. We're going to do that. Yeah, I know. I know some people are not going to be too happy about that. But we need some more money. Let's let's face it. We need money. We can't pay for modern textbooks. 
<sighs> That's just the price. That's the price you gotta pay. Child labor law. There's an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. Ooh, I will do that. All right, too many of our younger citizens are leaving school early in order to take up low-paying jobs. Some are even skipping school to work full-time when they should be learning. The law is currently very weak with regards to preventing companies from employing under 16s. Wait, 16s in full-time positions? This proposed law would make it a criminal offense to knowingly employ someone under 16s for more than five hours a week. Well, here's the thing. Five hours a week is not a whole lot. Then again, if you're under 16, you know what? You know what? I mean, five hours. I would I would say like 10 hours. But fine, fine. I'm going to criminalize child labor, send them to school, bring education up. I know this is not going to make companies happy, but you're going to have to pay for your skilled labor. Yes, shit's going to be more expensive. Deal with it. That's just how this goes. All right, cap. Oops, sorry. Cabinet report. Um, yeah, effectiveness is passable. What can you do? 37%. That did barely change, I think. Current value, 37. Peak value. Actually, went up a little bit. Mm, cool. Anyway, we have 25 capital, which means I don't have enough capital to change the tobacco tax. Not a fan. Where is this uh, tobacco usage? Eh, it's going up, it's going down. I do not like the obesity problem. So instead... <clears throat> excuse me. All right, so instead of trying to affect an existing law, I'm looking if there's something I can possibly enact with my political power. I forgot where they were. This is the intelligence briefing, so nobody's trying to kill me right now. Minimal risk. That's good. I mean, I haven't, I haven't tried to take their guns away yet. They would not like that. There it is. Uh, policy ideas. Okay. So we have a lot of unemployment. We got to keep that in mind. And we have economy. So welfare, economy, I really want to focus on that. Um, compulsory work for the unemployed. Yeah, um, that is uh, interesting. But let's see, child benefit, people are going to like that. How much is that going to cost me in terms of implementation? Probably a little bit. Uh, two quarters until it kicks in. <sighs> Alcohol awareness campaign. That is actually a good idea. It doesn't cost too much. I don't know how much it's going to be to... Oh, race, free, lower. Okay, it's free. That's good. We're going to put a maximum number in there. I don't need people to know how dangerous this is. There's a reason we increased... Uh, the restrictions. We, we will reduce them again once people get a grip on everything. Then we will reduce it again. I know it doesn't stop people from necessarily. People that want to drink doesn't stop it. But what can you do? Um, economy. Okay. I uh, want to give people startup. I want to give startup help. Um, smart meter program. Trade council. Man, a lot of new things. Ah, with all the DLCs. Vertical farm subsidies. Home fabrication grants. Interesting. Support of the acquisition of 3D printers by households to lower dependency on imports. Everyday products can be repaired by printing spare parts. And new items can be easily manufactured. I don't think... I don't know if we're there yet, honestly. Eco-home regulations. Business startup campaign. There you go. That's what I do. Uh, give people a chance. We're going to raise that up to a maximum. It's just... It's not even $2 billion. Uh, but we're going to help the self-employed uh, hopefully reduce unemployment a little bit. And these are very cheap policies. They don't cost us a whole lot. But they help, you know, in, in, in unison, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so state housing is a little bit more expensive. It costs 16 quarters to uh, uh, come in. Um, I might go for that in my last quarter. I'm a little bit worried about that. I'm going to have to go with a few things that also make people happy. We're like, oh yeah, that's uh, popularity. Recycling, look at that. We don't even have recycling. <sighs> it's not going to help. The economy right now if we do that it's silly it is silly but i want to help that out foreign investor tax breaks uh special tax breaks given to large foreign owned multinational companies encouraging them to invest in our country this could include tax free periods introductory rates to corporate tax and straight subsidies to encourage investment helps encourage investment from overseas but will be seen as incredibly unpatriotic and pandering to the whims of huge foreign capitalist organizations well we could do that to boost this or clean energy how long is that eight quarters hmm. you know what i'm gonna do the foreign investor tax breaks we can always once the economy kicked off we can kick them out hundred twenty billion per quarter can't cancel the policy screw that yeah um yeah i'm gonna oh did i already implement it and i just can't help it I, it already cost me that much fine okay you know what let's do this patriots are not liking it but the gdp goes up and we need some extra cash money uh let's do this apply Okay, so 
Deficit pretty high. Uh, I still have 11 points that I can use. Um, skill shortage, education. We're working on education. Let's implement something for that. You know, I'm pretty sure public services has something like that, like public libraries. Free school meals. Are you kidding me? How is that not already a thing? Could we please do that? Free school meals, maximum. Let's feed the kids. If you have to learn all day, and if you're there all day, please learn. Yeah, obesity as well goes down because they're not getting junk food. All right, let's do this. Increases the poor earnings because they don't have to pay. That's actually really good. Um, I really like this. It re reduces poverty, actually, which is also great. There's, there's no reason to not offer free school meals <clears throat> to your kids. Feed the people you want to work for you eventually. Jeez, it's not, it's... Anyway, next turn. Let's have a look. Credit rating downgraded. Lovely. Ah, okay. Yeah, this is this hurts. The polls do not good. Last poll puts at least 42% of the vote on an election. That is quite a bit more than last time. So I'll take it. Look at that. It keeps going up. People like what I'm doing. <clears throat> Sorry, let's open up the quarterly report again. Aerospace contract one. Neato. One of our aircraft manufacturers has won a huge contract to produce new planes. Good. Credit rating downgraded. It is now a B. You know what? I don't care. Fine. Don't 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 invest. It's cool. Um, budget report. Yes, yes, yes. Um, we need to fix this. Either for growing our GDP. I'm working on it. It's gonna take another turn, I think. Yeah, yeah. Look at all these things we implemented to affect the GDP. It's slowly going up, but it's gonna take us a bit. Education. Yeah, keeps going up. Very happy about that. Unemployment. That's quite a boost thanks to all of these. Well that as well but uh state schools and technology grants and poverty keeps going down oh oh yeah all right next step poverty is going down which which affects crime obviously so let's see what we can do we still have vigilante lunch mobs i don't like it i would like to increase funding i'm police are you kidding me no 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 what is that what is that uh, it's gonna cost us a lot of political capital, so... Confirm. New. No, cancel. No, 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 we're not doing this. Uh, where is police force? There you go. Okay, we have a medium police force. Ramping that up is gonna reduce the crime and violent crime, but it's also gonna cost a little bit more. I'm gonna go with high here. Or maximum? Screw it, maximum. We're gonna implement that. It's gonna reduce quite a few... Uh, problems that we have like vigilante mobs, drug addiction, alcohol abuse. We just have to be careful how we do it. We're gonna increase the police force cost. Good. Um, it's 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 that's like the direct help to bring it down. But we need to work on the long term problems like unemployment. Uh, so, you know, teaching our kids proper skills so they can work later and such 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 such. Okay, so economy. I would like to implement something uh, on top of that. Uh, where it is. Maternity leave, quite important. Consumer rights, quite important as well. But right now, I want to, like, until the economy booms a little bit, then we're going to start implementing those things. Taxes? Yes. Oh, luxury good tax. You want to buy a sports car? You want to buy a private yacht? Yes, yes. You're going you're gonna to do that. We're going to implement that. I know you don't like it. I do Healthy food subsidies. Ooh. Mm, junk food tax. That would, that would make people really unhappy. I'm not going to do that before we dealt with other things. First, let's offer to make healthy food cheaper. Let's do that. Yeah, maximum. It doesn't cost us a much. Reduce obesity so drastically. All right. Next thing. Luxury good tax. Ooh, plastic bag tax. Oh, yes, please. I, I know, I know, capitalists just see this as state meddling, but I think it's important to have it in here. Ah, school tax credits. Wait, what is that? To spend their money in private education in order to reduce their tax liability. This boosts private schooling without involving the state running schools or employing teachers, but if its effect is limited to those people in society earning enough to paying tax in the first place. Yeah, I, I, I can see that. Um, internet currency taxation, not going to do that. Legal brothel tax. Yes. Prostitution, we're gonna... That's actually a good question. Where is prostitution in this whole thing? There is... I know it is somewhere in here. I know it is somewhere in this... Is it on a crime? Probably on the crime. Where is prostitution hiding? Anyway, let's have a quick look at alcohol abuse. It keeps going down. Very good. Um, It keeps going down. 
Uh, bu -bu 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 Antisocial behavior keeps going down. Very happy. Lynch mobs also. But where are... Where are prisons? Oh, yeah, right. Prisons. Interesting. That's actually not that much. Now that I think about it. Hmm. Might do that, but for one second, give me, where's prostitution hiding? Do I need to implement, like, a law for that? Foreign policy, law and order. Oh, there's a whole lot of, a whole lot of things. Legalized prostitution, there it is. Can't do it, it's too expensive. 25, we only have 19 left. Might do that. Uh, needle exchange program, how is that not already a thing? How is a community po policing? Yeah. Policing, I mean, sorry. Yeah, absolutely. It costs us one. Absolutely, we're gonna do that. Um, Fifteen billion. That's that's a bit much. We're gonna we're gonna go medium. Eight billion. I'm gonna invest that. Reducing alcohol abuse and such. That's always a good one to go with. And I might just save up some. Gonna save up some stuff. Um, flags on every street corner. That's an interesting one. National Armed Forces Week. I would say that it is already a thing. Our heroes and protectors need to be recognized by establishing a National Armed Forces Week. This can be done by celebrating their service for our country, making them feel appreciated, and showing the public who those brave men and women are that would risk a life for our safety. That's one of these things where I'm like, do we need to do that? But yes, the voters love it. And when the voters love it, I will do it. Because it's not expensive, and I need those votes. I need people to appreciate and to approve what I do. Okay. Transport, oh, anti-gravity research grants, intriguing. Electric cars initiative, not touching this right now. Um, not touching this right now, but what I would like to do, where is it? Luxury good tax, yeah. I'd like to implement that, honestly. I'd like to do that. Income, look at that. Just implementing, we're not gonna go crazy on that tax. Let's do 30%, it's not super high, but it's 60 billion dollars a quarter. 60 billion if someone wants to buy a private yacht or a private jet or something. If you're willing to pay, it's not even up for discussion, 30%. It's, it's, a, it's, it's less than a third if you wanna buy something outrageous. Okay, so I have two capital left and I hope I have enough to maybe legalize prostitution next time or maybe I'm gonna do something else. I'm not sure. There's so many things that need fixing here and we will fix it. We're going to make this a fantastic place to live in in those two terms that i'm here i don't have a whole lot of terms uh we'll see if we get re-elected but uh in any case thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the first episode of democracy 3 with electioneering dlc please make sure to share it with your friends tell them like hey this is a cool let's play you should watch this this is fun this is i i promise you this is fun and if it's not fun you can always like tell me afterwards that it's not fun you don't have to subscribe there's it doesn't cost anything just a little bit of your time but you you won't regret it you know like you know that kind of thing anyways thanks so much for watching i'm weasel i'm out and hope to see you around bye bye, bye, -bye.